Are you ready? Are you? Are you? It's a room transfiguration. <laughs> I know it sounds a little bit echoey, but that's because I am in my master bathroom, my bathroom that I've never showed you. Why? Because uh, this is why. It's really bad. It's really bad. I've been putting this off for quite a while because the amount of work that's gonna have to go into this is... <sighs> Decluttering a room is one thing or painting is another thing, but like scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing that is so much work on my wrists. I did pick up some fun tools on Amazon that have been highly recommended by several YouTubers. Hopefully that will help me make this mission easier. The plan is to clean the shower super super thoroughly and paint it with this tub and tile paint that I got from rust -Oleum. My friend Nikki is actually using the same tub and tile paint to transfigure her shower and vanity. You just have to check out her channel The Clean Nest. She has so many videos for cleaning motivation, homemaking, and room makeovers. Did I also mention she's a Ravenclaw? super witty and caffeine obsessed like me go check her out guys i know that you will just love her she has so many amazing amazon recommendations and her house is just beautiful so while editing this video i noticed that i didn't do my wand thing that's not acceptable i need to do my wand thing if it's your first time here on my channel or if nikki sent you to me hello my name is carolyn it's very nice to meet your digital acquaintance i do witchcrafting diys room makeovers lifestyle videos organization and decluttering if you like those kind of videos please hit the subscribe button to join our online magical family in order to get started we needed to remove the shower doors so that we can clean every inch it was already bloody disgusting in there, so I didn't expect to find more grime once the doors came off. Ew, is that the caulking? Ew! Ow! <laughs> That's gross! Blech. <laughs> It was so gross. I couldn't even scrub it off. Michael had to chisel it with a hammer and never did I ever think that I would need to sweep my shower floor. That was a first. Seriously, now that the doors are off in here, it's so much bigger. The first step is gonna be to clean this thing, paint it also clean the doors which are outside i'm gonna clean those outside just because it's gonna be so much easier hopefully at some point we'll remove these little peel and stick tiles because they didn't end up being as good of an idea as we thought it was going to be if michael doesn't hate the idea i would eventually like to try and tile our bathroom hi babe so here is the little tool that I picked up from Amazon. It's a set of brushes that's supposed to go into a drill. This one is the medium set. I got this one because it said it was for bathroom, bathtub, shower, tile, and porcelain. And that's basically everything we're working on. But you can also get other ones. They have a white edition for furniture, carpet, chairs, glass, and leather, and then they have stiffer ones, which you can use for the kitchen, or doors on brick, which is crazy. I should probably get the red one because, you know, downstairs we have a fireplace that I intend to paint. Battery. Are you permitting me to use drill? Yeah. Is it? Oh! I never use power drills. <laughs>
toothbrush. So many YouTubers rave about this and how it works so well. I know a bit of Brie, Miss Brianna K loves to use this. I just tried it on the grout and this works way better for smaller areas like between the tiles. I did try to use the, um, the drill for <laughs> the smaller parts where the black lines are and it didn't work but this one works so good. going. You know, I'm not clean. I started at 10.30. It's currently 5.30 I think. I finally cle finished cleaning just the shower. I still haven't cleaned the doors. I did clean the floors a little bit. I want to change these floors because they're gross, but I think that's gonna have to wait for a couple days or even a week. And um, first and foremost, the shower is most important. So let me give you an update. I put in eight to ten hours of scrubbing this damn shower and it didn't even look that different at least not to me I can accept however that it was pleasant to stand barefoot in the shower again but I just needed to see that final result so out to the backyard to finish cleaning the doors you guys it's six o'clock and I'm really really tired honestly I don't even know if I can continue on today but we're gonna try uh, because I would rather get these doors back on today and then worry about the painting another day than to just leave these out here overnight because at least then we could still use our shower until we paint it friend Morgan from at home cleaning with the Valors recommended the pink stuff from Amazon to me to bring these doors to life and it ended up being just amazing if you don't know who Morgan is please give her a follow on Instagram and convince her to make a YouTube she is incredibly funny and not your average Pinterest mom I was so done by the time we finished cleaning. My hands were hurting so much that I had a hard time sleeping since I tend to tuck my hands under my pillow. Michael put the doors back up since we weren't painting at the time and also so we could use the shower the next morning. Even though the overall shower didn't look that different, the shower doors ended up turning out just great, especially this railing. Favorite person in the whole wide world. Oh. We're at Home Depot right now because I need to get the rollers for the paint of the shower. And also I think I'm gonna have to get more paint because I realize now that I eventually need to paint the bathroom. And if I paint the bathroom and it drips on the shower, I'm gonna be very annoyed after putting all this work in. So let's go get paint. As soon as I got home, I went straight to painting the ceiling and the walls because there was just no time to waste.
there's definitely going to be a part two to this video because these floors and baseboards are horrendous. I wish it could have been included in this video, but you know, your homegirl has to get paid before she starts investing more money into more projects, so stay tuned. The next day, Michael was so sweet and decided to stay in the shower for me. God, I love him so much. Sanding is so important because it will get rid of any extra dirt or in our case, paint that you were not able to scrub off. Think of it like a manicure. You want to buff your nails before you polish because it'll last that much longer. Okay, the moment has arrived. We are going to paint the shower. You'll need some eye protection. If that paint splashes in your eyes, you are screwed. Because not only are the fumes crazy, this paint eats away your gloves, so make sure you get some good ones. Your rollers, especially your rollers. So make sure you have like 16 backups. Do I look cute, you guys? Are you lying? Are you lying a little bit? <laughs> it comes with two containers that you will need to mix together. The consistency of this paint is more liquid-like than regular paint because of the epoxy that's mixed in, which helps it level it out. So don't worry about the texture when it comes to rollers. Get a box fan ready and open the windows because this paint is no joke. We had to sleep downstairs because it was so strong. I felt my brain melting. It took so long to get to the actual painting, but that's because in order for this to be successful, you need to hardcore prep. Once you get to the painting part, you need to apply it quick because it starts thickening so fast. As soon as you feel your roller getting sticky, change it, or you're going to have little pieces of foam stuck to your walls. Also, wrap some tape around your rollers to get rid of any loose hairs. We did two coats and used two boxes of the Rust-Oleum tub and tile paint with allowing one hour in between coats to dry. Don't forget to immediately remove that tape once you're done painting, otherwise it will harden, then you'll have to cut the tape off. But anyway, here's the final result. We were young Our shower is so white now, it's almost blinding. Retiling the shower would have been so much more work and cost thousands of dollars. But for under a hundred bucks, we finally have a normal looking shower that I'm not embarrassed of. At least not anymore. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for part two of our bathroom transfiguration. Don't forget to check out Nikki's channel and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for new videos. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night